I come bearing ingredients. Great! Where are they? What happened? I found out the ingredients we need to transform Violet. To make an immortal mermaid, I need this. The only thing living in the saltiest sea, and a princely laugh. Specifically, the hugest one that has a chilly past. Great! Where are they? I can't do it with you listening. Uh, forget it. I really shouldn't, but... So, let me get... Who is that stunning creature? Who? You mean, that must be Saltina Crackab- Do I look like I'm dressed for kung fu fighting? I'm not ready to part with this just yet. What is that? I'm not ready to part with this just yet. And that's when I said to my little fluoride. <laughs> Sometimes I warm up milk at night to help Nathan sleep better. Maybe with my coffee. That's a child's drink. Milk? It strengthens the bones if you have any. Milk? It strengthens the bones if you have any. Is that an antique? Maybe with my cookie. I warm up milk every night to help Violet sleep better. It works wonders.
Do you always keep a fire burning inside your tent? Always. In the winter, it keeps us warm. What about spring and fall? We make s'more. Nothing like a little warm milk. Are you going back out there? My days as a long pink antenna are over. Stay frozen in one position long enough for that kid to get her dose of Blarney? Thank you, Pink Panther. I am with Blarney. He is speaking to me clearly now. I love you, Blarney. with Jane Fondue. Oh, Sounds excellent. Sister Act 16. Share I think I missed this one. A very Blarney Christmas. I'd love to check big, this out. Anymore. We are going home. Why, you little...
You know, some people worry that if something as personal as a scrap of toenail fell into the wrong hands, an enemy could better cast an evil spell against you. But I'm not so superstitious. It looks like the little earthquake drudged my mammoth up to the surface. I hate to root for natural disaster, but a slightly bigger earthquake would set him free. Not too coarse. Only rodents past this point, Bobby. But I'm a huge fan of the rodent. Then are! Suppose you wouldn't mind answering a few questions, matey. If it's true your friend, not foe, then this answer you're sure to know. Who was the true carrier of the Black Death Plague? <laughs> Let's try again. If to rat you are true blue, which one of these things can a rat just not do? <laughs> Believe it or not, swigging poison is cake. We're bent on surviving the traps humans make. holds the rat deer. If you're here of the rat, which is your birth year? That's right, my friend. In fact, they all are. Those born in the year of the rat will go far. Arg! I guess you're okay. Let him in, Ron. Welcome to the Rat House. It looks like you're running some kind of a frat house down here. Get it? Frat? Oh, I get it. Oh, that's funny. Do you get it? I get it. I'm just not amused. It looks like you're running some kind of a frat house down here. Get it? Frat?
Thank you. out negative well then how'd you get so big all of you you're the hugest rats i've ever seen ain't you heard the sapiens used to test their nukes underground here with no regard for the subterranean dwellers now look ferocious fighters those sapiens the very best or the very worst depending on how you look at it i think it was lord lewis mountbatten that said if the third world war is fought with nuclear weapons Fourth will be fought with bows and arrows. The trouble you felt was caused by our king of oversizer, which reminds me, I'm hungry. Up there lives the king, great guy. I entirely disagree. The rat's an imbecile, self-serving, pompous, always working out, making the whole earth shake. I find it very annoying. Why do you keep wiping that bar? It must be clean by now. Come on, cheese for brains. Solve a riddle with a sandwich. It's not as hard as it looks. I'd like to play. You? Okay, I got a good one for you. What saves human lives but is not man's friend? Been around for all time and will thrive till the end. It makes farmers cry, yet this pest cannot fly. A gorgeous coat I must concur, though never killed, for its fur. 